Alright, to try to recap what happened last episode. Two episodes ago, Elsa died in battle. That's that fight where we actually lost somebody. We had a hero birth. We had... said Brandon Wernich died at, at the age of 90. The guy down here at the, the, bottom, lo the bottom keep. But we had a new marriage to replace him. <laughs> in the same year. <laughs> literally the same day of the same year. You can, you can really tell how much we feel for the deaths of people here around here. We had a new character come of age. We had a hero birth. Two more births, and we fi and we finished our hero discovery uh, boost, which means that when we when we go gather new heroes when we need to, we'll, they'll be higher level. Two more hero births, and th that's when we won our fight, which is the last thing we did. And I went ahead and, and sent Aurora, who got hit twice by wrinklers and became older. I sent them to the the uh, the Sage Rites Guild. Now we have quite a supply of little young guns trying to become new people. We have six blast cappers over here. It'll be interesting to see how blast cappers fare in battle because we haven't had, we actually haven't had one up to this point. But now I have so many, I'm just gonna be have to come. I'm gonna have, gonna have to become used to them whether I like them or not, which I don't even know yet. We have three hunters in training, which is good for me because I love myself some hunters. One caverjack. And here is what our current objective is. We have six years to spend uh, building this keep, which I want to then have ruled by some variation of a hunter, so I can ha start having a population of uh, ranged characters because they're just—I find them so useful. Uh, ooh, Anna, Anna Dice is at uh, age 58. We might lose our Crucible trainer soon, so it, uh, all the more reason to train up my characters in, in battle because we're going to need them to replace people. The combat, the fight we did give us a 25% boost to our current research, and I also added my older character to the Sage Rites Guild, so that gave us some good progress for efficiency on this uh, current keep. I doubt we'll, yeah. I figured we weren't about to finish it before something else happened, and Anna Dice is dead. Oh, this is not great news. I just finished, I just finished making someone else, uh, I took one of my party members and forced them to become a member over at the uh, Sage Rites Guild, and now I have all these people here. I probably should just pick an older person whose traits I like. Probably one of these Shadow Jacks, since I don't want to marry any more Shadow Jacks off, because they're all becoming too... Let's see, this person's a rebel. Ooh, traits, longevity, strong-willed, and slow. Nope! You're not, tra you're not tra teaching people how to be slow. They're both slow. Oh, right. You're from a family of slow people, aren't you? Well... Ooh, advanced crossbow training, 50%. Did you have that, too? You did, too. Prime age. Well... Let's see. I guess it's personality only, so it really comes down to who it, what I want from the personality. And the, the one's... One's rebel and one is reckless. Let's see. Can I get... Let's take get a closer look at reckless. Heroes ca Oh. Decreases armor effectiveness. So that's just flat out bad. So between these two, it seems like my best option is probably the rebellious one. Who and the additional bonus there is the rebellious one is also going to be long lived. Oh yeah, a long lived rebellious character means that this person will be here for a long time in this role. The alternative is, is somewhat tempting to set, to put this twenty year old here. Oh no, he's sluggish. He has terrible traits, doesn't he? Reduced evasion. Yeah. I'm gonna keep Zark in, this, in the crew to fight. I don't want to have him training people necessarily because I don't want to make, 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 make a bunch of, uh, of reckless, uh, of uh, sluggish people. So let's put this person in there. They're long lived, so I won't have to replace them for a while at least. This reduces the size of my vanguard to three, unfortunately. Hopefully that won't be too bad because the combat so far hasn't been too difficult. So maybe I can get away with only having three if I'm tactical and careful about it. And if I'm lucky, we'll just have someone else come of age pretty soon here. If we're lucky. Standard promoted, that's what I just did. Okay. If we're lucky, someone will come of age before the next fight starts. Which is likely, because we have a few, fair number of years to go. There- oh! There's coming of age. There's multiple coming of age. A lot, a lot of people came of age. And Aurora, of the Sage Rites Guild, the person who was in our previous fight and got hit twice and lost 10 years of her life at the beginning of the fight. So Wrinklers just died, unfortunately. It needs to be replaced. Good news is, suddenly I have a whole cast of characters because I had... Ooh. I had a Shadow Cloak and two... I had two rabbits and a Shadow Cloak become of age. Uh, 
How old is the current person who lives here? Oh, she's only 40. Wow. I put Cerisa here young. Forgot about that. She has very high intuition, too. Does she get continually higher intuition the longer she stays here or something as a result of just studying here? Personality insightful? I assume that she just gets... I assume that she just becomes better at intuition as a result of being here for a long time? Like, maybe if you hire her here young, she just becomes better equipped at being a sage, right? It's tempting to just throw some young people in. Uh, but I don't want to completely just d demolish my party here. What if I throw- what if I do throw a rabbit at them? Yeah, we're about to have a ton of rabbits. Should I just throw one of these characters in there? Your stalwart, bountiful, and quick? Ooh, I want a quick character. Brainy, bountiful, sl and a slow learner. Stalwart and alert. What are these details? Increased evasion against ranged attacks and... Incre oh, increased defense. So it looks like blast cappers are definitely melee characters, by the way. Who have... They're melee characters that have, uh, alchemist abilities. Take another look at Jackalid's skills. Alright, so... In they, have, they have increased armor effectiveness. This one has high movement range. Oh, and she's bountiful. These are all things that make me not want to put her... Wow, she got really good details from her parents, considering that her parents were actually kind of... They kind of had shitty traits in general. That's a surprise. Alright. I might want to make her the leader of a... Of a... Make her marry at some point. But this other one's not bountiful, and she's a slow learner. Oh, she's also bount- Damn, this whole family's bountiful. It's no wonder they're called rabbits. Okay. Well, this, one, this person has increased intelligence. And they're a slow learner, so they're gonna be less useful in combat overall, because they're not gonna level as fast. So I think I'm gonna send them here. Just because I could use someone else as a sage right. So that- and... I don't need to- I'm not- I don't want to fill my entire inventory with Blast Cappers, necessarily. It is a bummer that everyone that I have running anything is a variation of a melee character at this point. But hopefully the variation of skills will come in handy. But yeah, I could definitely use the extra intuition, and hopefully as she becomes a little older, over the next few years, she'll be better equipped to, uh, fulfill her st her duty. Let's see if she can fulfill her potential and all that. Let's see... Oh! A new baby! Uh... Born to Pepper and Cheezus of the Warren. Do we have any, a new baby here? We did have a new baby. We were, we're just having babies everywhere. How many guys do you have? You have, you have six, two, one. That's all of my ones. Let's see. Oh, we're getting a male bias a little bit, which is not great. Although we already had a female bias previous generation, so we just gotta live with what we got, I guess. All right, let's see if we can finish this keep. Come on. Ta-da! Alright, marry heroes together to start a bloodline. Let's start a hunter bloodline for the love of God. Hello, Thomas the Wanderer. Sorry, I'd love to keep you in my party because I love having hunters around because you're a badass. And you really are a good hunter, too. But I want- which is exactly why I want to make more of you, basically. Fuck, he has low fertility? Really? Is that necessary? Does he have to have high Let's see, your shadow cloak. Shadow Cloak Enforcer. Enforcers are ranged characters, aren't they? I don't want a second line of Shadow Cloaks, though. What if I had... The Wanderer... She has high fertility, he has low fertility. So if I mix the this Hunter with that Enforcer, can I get a lot of rangers over the next few turns? It also means immediately eliminating the only ranged characters from my party, unfortunately. But I want this to work. Uh, how old is she? She's 19, he's 39. I, I want his I want his family line to continue. But low fertility is not great. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully. Hopefully this works out. Okay, Shadow Cloak. So to be clear, you guys are gonna make- Yep, you guys are gonna make- Your guys are gonna make hunters, which is good. What does an enforcer do exactly? You're... You're like a melee character variation of a hunter, right? Hearing through walls... Oh yeah, fortify nearby heroes... Free move after shooting... Chalk one up, knockback- Oh, she, right, they have the knockback attack. Which could be handy. Should I just make her the king? The leader? 
I guess it comes down to whether or not I want to ha make two Shadow Cloak li uh, bloodlines, or if I want to have this this Wicker bloodline. I already made him the Regent anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I want to have I want to have multiple bloodlines here. They have a moderate chance of of having children. I just have to hope things work out here. Come on, Shadow Cloak, make me proud. Give me a lot of moderate chances of hunters. Now we have two keeps giving me hunters at once. I've robbed myself of ranged characters for the, especially for the next fight, which is a really big bummer. But I'm really hoping that this pays off to me having a whole bunch of uh, of future generations of that. Let's see. Oh my God, I have so many things. Experience scarf because I've destroyed so many lapses. Lapses often leave behind a trail of memory fibers. If these strands were woven into a scarf, our heroes could gain experience at an increased rate. Oh. See that's interesting. If I make my if I make my heroes level up faster, that means they'll be more useful for the crucible. They'll be more useful for really any big positions there. So it's it's definitely tempting to give them that. Wunderpants. Undergarments are the last line of defense against the elements. Through experimenting with chemical combinations and close contact fibers, we believe we can come up with protection against Wrinkler's aging effects and Lapse's memory loss effects. So it's something that makes you resist those two annoying uh, classes. Age and rage drought. Uh, when Wrinkler's Age of Hero, one of the things they stimulate is muscle size. With enough research, we can create a drought that would grant immense strength for a brief time, but at the cost of growing several years older. Jesus. Sacrifice years of your life to be better in combat. That's concerning. No nation stuff to do. Let's see. I could discover more heroes, and that could be useful for some reasons, but, uh, let's see... I'm tempted to go for extra years. You know what? I should up I should upgrade my I should upgrade my caber training. I upgraded my crossbows earlier. If I'm going to be stuck with so many melee characters, I may as well make myself better at melee, right? Yeah, because building another building is going to take me 20 years. I don't know if I'm ready to cl to commit to that yet. Veil armor. Skin of lapses exhibits some extraordinary illusionary properties with enough residue collected from their bodies. We can fashion a suit of armor that will improve the stealth abilities of our hunters. Put our alchemist in volatile armor that, that it blows up when they take damage. I could do caberjack armor, but it'd take 10 years. But it'd also reduce the cost of doing other armors later. Huh. I mean, they're, they're basically a tank character, right? That's like their point. So maybe I should be buffing my caberjack's armor to make them more effective in combat. So they don't just straight up die like they have before. That's probably a better idea than upgrading their weapons. It probably makes sense to make... It probably does make sense to make crossbows have better... Give our rangers better weapons, but give our melee characters better armor. So they each have their own role. I'm gonna go for that armor. Even though I've been... Even though I keep saying that, uh... That I'm gonna avoid upgrading combat stuff. We're at the point where building a new keep is gonna take, for, take forever, and right now I'm just waiting for people to be born. So let's get some research done, and definitely we're going... We're definitely gonna get attacked before it actually finishes. New baby, new coming of age. And they're back. Again. Yes. I thought they'd given up too. Why would you think they gave up? You're stupid. They're never gonna give up. That's the game, silly. Ooh! If I defend this place, the, t the reward is a newborn baby boy! And if I go here, I get a 21 year old female hunter. Oh. I want a hunter. Let's see. It's concerning to let this place uh, take more damage, but it is uninhabited. Meanwhile, this is my sage right where I do have to kind of kind of defend it. And getting a new hunter for my crew would certainly be handy, so I'm gonna go for that. I mean, I'm currently spewing out baby boys left and right all over the all over the game. That's oh man, have fun interpreting that sentence. All right, so do you want these blast cappers or those blast cappers? I'm just gonna go ahead and just pick some. Let's see. This one has charge. Dash in a straight line to cover more ground or ram another character. The further the charge, the more damage and knockback delivered. I haven't had a... I've always had a... I've had Cabra Jacks, but mostly Shadow Jacks. So I actually almost forgot about the charge ability because it's been so long since we've had access to it. That's cool. So we're going to have multiple charging characters. How do I pick up... How do I pick how to prioritize between these croup? Let's see... Maybe I do it based on gender? Oh yeah, let's get another boy in here. 
Maybe be, maybe he'll become a future leader of some kind. Personality tranquil. Increased accuracy. Decreased experience gain. Decreased movement range. It is uh, da, da, da. it is a bummer. These are all stupid people, basically. The rabbits are, the rabbits are good at mass producing kind of stupid heroes, aren't they? Let's see. Oh, you're bountiful and quick. You're nearsighted and clumsy. Do I want the one that's bountiful and qu and do I want bountiful, quick, and stalwart, or do I want nearsighted, clumsy, and cocky? Huh. One of these seems one of these seems one of these seems a little better than the other ones. Uh, more charge for me. See, you characters all have level up to go. I can choose between put it down, deal increased damage to injured enemies with less than half health. That's not a bad trait because it helps. It means that when we're getting up on a group, it'll help ensure they get a finishing blow. The other one is rebound armor knocks back melee attacks and provides bonus protection. Armor knocks back melee attackers and provides bonuses protection. Oh man, that's really tempting. I think I'm gonna go for that. A significant that that sounds like a pretty significant defensive capability. And for Gazark, my abilities are Rebound, which is the same one, and uh, Fury. Increased damage for a few turns after each hit received. I think I do want to go for Rebound still. That's a really cool ability. I'm noticing this, these are... Oh, that's a Caberjack and a Shadowjack. Okay. I was confused very briefly. Like, why do they have different moves from each other? But I realize, despite being from the same family, they're actually different classes. We have... Th oh, wow. So right now, we have... A Caberjack, the pure melee character, and then we have a Shadowjack, the hunter melee character, and three Blast Cappers, the alchemist melee characters. So we technically have three different classes in this party, although it's not going to feel like it, probably. For the love of God, I hope my I hope that I can suffer through this fight, and that my future investment of having tons of uh, archers and stuff like that in the party, because I, they're now dominating two keeps, is going to lead to a, a badass future of archer-based parties. It's a fine day for battle, all things considered. Every day is a fine day for battle. They're taunting me. They immediately put me in a massive, wide-open level where it would be really handy to have a bunch of archers around. Is that a path down there? Let's see. My best chance of survival. Does this level keep going in this direction? So there's a whole level up here. My best chance of survival is to immediately make a, for, make a break for the rocks. So that we can reduce line of sight of the enemies, wherever they may be. Let's see. We're gonna move slowly. There he is. All right. So you are you guys? You're the only shadow jack in the party. You can't stealth move anywhere, can you? Nope. I'm gonna say. Oops! Crap! 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 Don't mean to do that. All right. So you guys have explosive caber. Excuse me? Strike an enemy and damage other nearby targets. Oh. They, had an ex they have an exploding attack, which makes sense. They're called blast cappers. Like, that's what, that's more or less what I expect them to do. So, and they also have a charge. Oh. That's perfect for the situation. Oh, we can have fun with that. We're gonna have fun with... Oh, crap. Nope. Meant to click on the other character. Let's see here. The question is how much damage can I expect the charge to do? And also, can I do it when I've already moved a little bit? Four to five damage. Huh. Maybe I wait one turn for it to approach us, and then I, then I set up the charge. I'm gonna put my characters in a staggered formation, so that they cover a lot of horizontal area, so that when they do, when they do decide to charge, they can all... They can't just... The, the enemy can't just narrowly stand outside of my charging range. Like, I, this whole pillar of areas covered by my charge, basically. Oops. We'll have... You. Uh, no, I was gonna take one step back, but if I take one step back, I lose line of sight, and they probably won't approach me, and I want them to, I want them to come closer to me. Because ideally, I could send a, a few units closer to attack. He's just gonna stand there. Well, you son of a bitch. Okay. Huh. The question is, do I bait him? You're a Caberjack, you're a Shadowjack. Can you approach anything you can hide behind? Absolutely nothing, okay. I think my only chance, my, my only choice might be to just charge in there and get things started then. Let's see here, you have the most hit points, so I'm tempted to go with you. 
Oh, there's a whole enemy party over there. Okay, that's not encouraging at all. That's a... It's a wrinkler, and a rupture, and a lapse, all in one party. Good news is, if I cause a bunch of damage to that... to the, uh... If it causes a bunch of, uh, damage to their... Uh, their... Their black... What's it called? Shit. Their rupture, uh... I'll be able to blow up that on their laps, perhaps? Or, or their wrinkler? I'm, I'm slowly approaching without necessarily entering direct line of sight. One of them might be able to attack, but hopefully, the, hopefully their party as a whole won't be able to attack. And then I'll have, I'll have the opportunity to act properly relatively soon. Uh... Let's stagger my party a little bit. I want to spread out these characters that can charge a little bit so that I have, they have more versatility to act next turn. There we go. We'll see how this next turn goes. I shouldn't be in range of most of them. This, this is a bad t Oh, one of them has asthma. I should have checked that before. Here comes the rupture. Is the lapse gonna range to attack us? He shall is. Alright. Yeah, this is a really bad group to fight. These are all characters I want I would want to fight from a range. It's the explosive caber. Oh yeah, they're they're crowded together. 100% chance to have eight of 10 to 18 damage. That sounds good to me. Let's see. Yeah, let's see what I can do with my let's let's see what what, what I can do with my big nasty uh, blast cappers. Get in there. I want to see this. Bam. All right. Now can I attack with another blast capper in a way that doesn't hurt my uh, other party members? Oh, there we go. If I attack this one, it'll it'll hit that one. I do have to worry about him exploding, though, which isn't great. What if I knock him back? I can't knock him back. Ha 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 I'm just gonna have to take the damage on the- on the- on the chin. I have the ability to heal. There we go. Explosion happens. That'll probably kill the Shadow Jack if I'm lucky. Nope, one damage. Right. It just causes armor corrosion. They don't, they don't do a ton of damage. Alright. I can finish this guy off now. It's worth it just to stop him from aging anybody, even if I have to take some... some armor damage. Alright. That, that, that went relatively well. Now it's all about being ready to... oh! 15 to 19 damage. I don't even have to charge him. Can I get there? Can I get in range from this character? Oh yeah. There's enough people in range that I can probably... I can probably deal with this. I'll, I'll attack from this side, leaving room for my other character to attack, if it survives, which it apparently has. There we go. I feel like I've handled this situation pretty well. Even a glancing blow will kill at this point, so I'm not concerned. This part could be bad. Anyone get stunned? One stunned character. I can take it. And hey, the blast back knocked some people out of the acid, so they're not taking corrosion damage anymore. So overall, that went really well. I'm pretty happy with how I handled that. I can do... I can do melee character-only tactics. Is, she, is he stunned too? No, he was just stretching or something. Alright. Keep... We're gonna keep moving forward to scout. So you're gonna have to run in order to get past the, the acid at this point. And now we're... now we're in a crowded area, which is my goal, was to get into this rocky area. Because now, it's easier to close the gap on any enemies we encounter. Which is good, because a lot of them have range, so I, I need to be able to get the drop on them more. Which is difficult, because we don't have stealth characters in the party. Have you keep moving forward. And looks like she's not stunned anymore back there. And no one even took very much damage, did they? Dude, we've taken four and five damage for for two party members, and that's it. All right, we'll keep pressing forward. Where, where's my shadow jack? There you are. Can you shot? Can you stealth? You can stealth up here. Okay. That's our best chance of being able to see before we move. Didn't see anything. Okay. We'll just move forward. People in the back first, so if they discover anything, people that are further in front of them will be might be in range of taking care of whatever they discover. This is good. this is definitely gonna feel vaguely like a, a SWAT team, except the SWAT team didn't communicate before, and they all thought that they were the one that was supposed to bring the battering ram to knock down the door. And it turns out all they brought was battering rams. Oh man, what a funny surprise. Oh, hello, Wrinkler. Hi. 
Wrinkler's hiding in the shadows. That's always a good sign. Okay. What can Shadow Jack do? Just sort of approach? He, this is a slow character, aren't they? Yep, you're slow. Alright, well... At this point, you, best chance is for you to move forward. Yep, now you've revealed the Shadow Jack. Now the party as a whole, starting with whoever's furthest back, I think is the best way to approach this, can deal with this guy. Let's see, I'll have you attack the Wrinkler from the most behind position you can. Both to scout ahead and do damage. Uh-oh. Those are blaster dudes. Okay. They're just gonna run up and explode on me, aren't they? Alright, can I reach them with one of my other characters? My best chance is... Oh. Uh, I might be able to reach them if I can take care of this, wrink this wrinkler before. Let's see. 12 to 8, 16 damage. Alright, we'll start with the people in the back of the party. And they're going to attack from him. They're going to attack him over here. And my closest melee character might be able to run in and attack those characters before they detonate. And deal with them on our own terms. This character should die this turn. As long as we don't get a glancing blow, because that can ruin us. Oh no, 100% chance. Nothing to worry about. This person's a pro. This one's a pro. And this equips our... This equips this character. Yep, this character can run all the way in there now. Abilities are knockback and charge. Uh, damage and knockback the first target encountered. Probably just want to go for the attack, really. Knockbacks and stuns enemies. Versus maybe just hitting him in the face really hard. Yep, I'm just going to go with hitting him in the face really hard. And also standing in his way. If I'm lucky, the explosion will take out the other one. Please don't kill me with the explosion. Nope. The explosion's not too bad. I unfortunately will have to weather that guy's attack now, though. Which is not great. Oh, he's gonna go over here. And explode right in the middle of my party. Ah, two damage. Those guys really aren't much of a threat, are they? Oh no! That character is impressionable. They just became nervous? Decreased accuracy. Catherine Rabbit, god damn you. Why are you getting so nervous? You're just getting exploded on. That's no big deal. Alright, keep pressing forward. Uh, there's a lapse. I'll just have to be ready for that guy. Everyone else needs to run forward as best they can. While trying to avoid the straight up acid spots if I can. Here we go. I'm trying to figure out the exact boundaries of the acid and I think I have it down but I could be wrong. Wow, they really did cover the whole level with acid, didn't they? It's a little misleading. I wouldn't expect this area to be quite as uh, narrow as it looks. It looks open, but you can't walk on that area on that hill over there. All right. Oops. They really did make. They really did create a problem for us, didn't they? Let's see. You can still run because you're. Are you quick? Yeah, you're quick. All right. Cool. You're gonna be my new favorite for a while. Let's, let's get you past the acid, but not too close that you're aggroing everybody. You're probably going to want to stay here. Oh, we'll move forward a little bit. Just to clear the space so other characters can move forward when it's their turn. This person's stuck here. There we go, everyone's out of the acid. Looks like the lapse is retreating. Okay. There could be enemies over here. Oh, not really. That's the that's the clearing. So, th so whoever's ahead of us is either up here. Oh, and we know there's a lapse over here. I'll keep hugging the wall for now. It seems like my best option. Characters in the back are going to keep running forward. Trying to get past the, the pool of acid. Yeah, right up here. This person's having an asthma attack, so next turn they're going to suck. Wow, this person still can't clear the acid. Alright, hang on back here. You stupid, slow character. You're level 4, come on. Get some physical training, PT. Some, uh, little bit of, uh... I don't know. Cardio. First rule of zombie land. Alright, we have a lapse and we have an explodey dude. Both are worth being concerned about. If I'm lucky, I can get them to approach me first and deal with them on my own terms. Let's see here. Your turn's over already, right? So I can't heal you? Yeah. Because I should probably heal the guy that's... I guess he's only lost four hit points. Eh, I, sh I should heal a few of these characters probably. For now, we'll see if I can get the enemies to approach us. Alright, so you're- oh. I didn't- I didn't hit end enough times. 
Hey, really? hey little guy. How you doing? Who's a big na- Ow! Who's a big nasty lapse? Did you just make me de-level? I saw my character's not my level- Did his level go? Nope, he still has high- Wow, he has a lot- his, he, he deals with bigger experience totals than I thought he did. His level was red, so I briefly thought that meant that he lost a level. Final Fantasy XI style. That definitely made me worry about playing that kind of game, is the idea of like, Oh yeah, by the way, you can lose levels. In, in, in the MMORPG genre, the one that is infamous for taking infinitely long time all the time. This is the one where you can lose levels. Let's see, these, these guys can both basically die in one hit. I'm probably just gonna go for the hits at this point. Yeah. Let's see, can you kill somebody when you get in there? They can both kill. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go for the kill then. Get out of here. And of course there's two more blasters back there. That's a little concerning. Alright, so before I move in, one of you has to be in range of this guy, right? Yeah. So you're gonna heal him up before he goes in so he doesn't get himself killed. There you go, buddy. Now you're all primed to go to war. Get exploded all over. Wow, three damage. A little more than I expected. Alright, now the party's gonna move forward and be ready to deal with the enemy. This, it, this is, it would be so handy to have uh, rangers in here. I'm so happy that I'm breeding a bunch of rangers now, even if it did cost me rangers for this fight, where they would have been handy. Awesome, they didn't reach us. But we're taking some corrosion damage. We'll have to deal, something, do, deal with that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're an ex you have an explosive caber. So if I, if I handle this correctly... Let's see, change my location slightly. There we go. Oh cool, you can get a very good, you can get a very accurate window of the ex exploding radius. It makes, it makes a two by three block. Are there other positions? I can actually go all the way over there. All right, that, that put me past the acid. Bam. Oh, I failed to double kill them. Whoops. Welp. I know how to, I know what to do next, even if I don't like it. We're gonna have to create a double explosion here. All right. Going to switch my position over here. Hit them both again. Bam. Oh yeah, AOE melee has its merits. Okay, first explosion hits no one. Second explosion's gonna hit these guys. Not ideal, but I'll take it. These are basically tank characters after all. It's more or less their job. All right, let's get Zark out of the exploding area. So he can be safe for a little while. Let's see. Can I make you heal this character? That'd be the best thing to do right now because they're not feeling they're not feel super healthy. And that's there we go. If I go all the way over there, I'll be out of the acid when I do it. Bam! Party is relatively healthy. We're doing okay. And now we're just gonna sprint up to there. This character's gonna have another asthma attack, and my high level character will continue to be. In the background, with all of his nice hit points not being in the fight, basically. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting them to take three corrosive damage just like that. That's a bummer. Alright, where's my Shadow Jack? Is that my Shadow Jack all the way in the back? Of course it is. Alright. Yeah, I can't even stealth around, can I? No. Nope. Alright, nope, we're just gonna move forward then. Uh, you in the back. Oh, you have to run around everyone, so we're, we'll start with the people that are closer. Another one. This place is really packed with enemies. All right. We're gonna approach, but try not to get too close so that we can avoid taking direct hits from the guy that's, that saps energy from us. Try to bait them to come closer. Let's see, I'm probably gonna move this guy back a little bit. Let's see, oh, that, really? I can't go at it anywhere besides through the acid. This character is so disappointingly slow, all right. Let's back off a little bit, maybe. Uh, just a little, just slightly. There we go. And we'll end our turn here. Hopefully that'll force them to approach us. There's two lapses. Alright, they, they, can, they can be dealt with. When the worst thing that can happen to me is a stun, it's not too concerning. Five, wow, five damage. That's not what I expect them to be able to do, usually. Alright, so... I can go for the kill, with the top concern being that, uh... 
the top concern here is that the blast capper might approach. I think I have to go for it though. The alternative is that he just keeps attacking me anyway. At least here we can make some progress. Alright, stealth character, try to catch up. Can you use a heal on this guy? Yes, you can. What's the best position you can get to? Probably that one. That gets you as close as you're going to get to making it around the bend ahead of us. I can't run all the way to the enemies. Oops. Yeah, we can't really get much closer. My best chance is just to get us in a location where we'll be in a range, since we can't really avoid the fact that he's probably going to attack someone. So basically my best move at this point is just to provide alternate targets so that hopefully when their exploding character and their uh, laps come in, they won't necessarily attack the same guy at the same time. Uh, that's basically it for this turn. We're getting in the territory where these could seriously be my last enemies left in the map. I've killed a lot of them. You unfortunately don't get to know how many there are. That guy's hiding. Oh, there's another laps. Well, this isn't ideal. Not ideal one bit. Is, is this character just more stunned now? Oh, they're baiting me. I think I have to just run for it and go for the kill at this... Ooh. Ooh. I could kill you. Is there someone who can heal you up before we start this, maybe? Here. I'll try to heal you a little bit. From a position that's closer to the fight, but also not directly in your way. So I'll run a, I'll, I'll make towards, make some progress towards the fight. Because this character's gonna have to deal with their... Just gonna have to take the hit, basically. We'll take out this guy before he becomes a problem. Blow him up on our enemies. Seems like the, seems like roughly the ideal situation. And now we just have to hope that character doesn't get killed before we can ca catch up with him. Of course there's another one there. Let's see, where's the boundary of this level? It could still go on for a while. There, this is the starting clearing, so this whole area could still have enemies. In fact, it probably does. So this is a very enemy-dense level, which means... Eh? Upside is my characters are, are prone to getting a lot of, of uh, experience, minus the part where everyone's losing experience every time they get hit by a goddamn lapse. There's been more ideal situations in the past. I will, war I will grant you that. Yep, this is a... Uh, this is a level that very much favors ranged characters. Oh, cool, they missed. I kind of forgot they could do that. <laughs> I haven't seen them miss for a while. Wow, they both missed. That seems to be a legitimate strategy, is aggro them onto my character. Is, is this character evasive? Tend to make daughters, they're strong-willed. Nope, nothing particularly evasive about them. That was just luck, I guess. I thought that I'd accidentally stumbled into ha using a evasive based character or something. Let's see. You're not, oh, uh, you're not, you're not a, you can't blow people up. Can this person reach the fight at all? They can? Cool. Let's go for the explosive caber attack on this guy. Reorganize our position to hit all three of them at once. That's probably the best approach. Yeah. How much damage, let's see. It's not gonna kill everyone though. I might have to move forward with the other character. Can you heal this guy? You can heal this guy. But you can't reach the fight, so... I'll have you heal this guy from a position that doesn't get in the way. Over... Uh, yeah, that's about where. Because he's about to be in more danger again. I think we're out of healing ki pit kits now. I think I've used five. Yeah, that's all of them. That's, that's, that's really an interesting tactic, being able to, uh... Do that from, uh... Do, use other characters to heal separate characters so that that character can go in for an attack. So I'm gonna go in and attack this guy. He's going to explode, damaging both those guys. Then my other character's gonna come in to finish people off. Howdy, y'all. Ow. Alright. More armor corrosion and stuff like that going on. Now it's this job to be the caber jack. Explosive caber. If I attack this person from this position, it'll hit both of them. If I attack this person, can I reorganize it so that it... Can I make it so it only hits my enemy? Mm, eh, no? So we'll try the other character then. Explosive caber. Uh, 
Just make sure it's not gonna hit my ally, basically. Yeah, it's basically my only option. It's, it involves standing in the middle of the acid, unfortunately. But I'll have to accept that. Double kill! Oh, they're both stunned. They're both stunned and hurt. Fortunately, we haven't discovered any more allies, so there's a good chance no one else is gonna come after us. Now it's just about sprinting with whoever's left to get them in, into the fray. Because these characters have all the hit points. I very much want this character in particular uh, to probably take the front row- the front... Yeah, I might- I might just get out of the acid, but otherwise wait for a turn. And try to get my most durable character in the front line. Since they're the one that, uh, is best equipped to take further damage since we can't heal people anymore. It's really unfortunate both those characters are stunned, because they're- they need to get out of the acid. And they can't right now. Let's be careful here. Oh, no. That's exactly what I didn't want to see. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's not good. He might be able to kill someone. He might be able to kill my... Oh, okay, he's not He's not going for that character. He went for that one, though. Ah, age gain. And my characters are dying in the acid. We need to get them out of there. How's this character feeling? How old are they now? 26. Wow. A 20 year, 1 year old just gained 5 years. That's disappointing. Oh, there's the bountiful character. I like them. <laughs> oh, wait, they're all bountiful. I keep forgetting that. Alright, this character needs to go down as fast as possible. He needs to, he needs to suffer, basically, is what's going to happen here. Everyone hit him in the face really hard. Everyone hit him in the face really hard. Two damage, wow. Oh, it's a glancing blow. Shit. Everyone hit him in the face really hard. So you should hit him from behind, actually, to clear space for our other character. Hopefully I won't... ...discover a new enemy in the process, because I'm not really in... ...trying to... F ...find new enemies. Glancing blow, no! Damn it. If my entire party attacks this guy and he doesn't die, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Come on. What? Come on! You guys have high chances of not doing that. Stop doing that. Please. It's, your, your, it's our last chance. Thank God. Alright. No one else is aging. This character needs to stay in the back row for the rest of the fight. Oh, it's over. Cool. Wow. Watching this was just like seeing the battle at Screed's Gate again. We didn't tell you about that one, did we? I don't believe so. Screed's Gate. House of the Thieves without houses. <laughs> uh, you've already told me about that one, actually. You guys have bad memory. Alright, so... My older character, Kaelin Greed, got the least kill experience because they were in the back rows the whole time. Jark Greed, I think that's the kid we had last mission that was only like 19 or 15 at the time. Uh, now age 30 and gained about 700 experience just from that run from kills alone. About to hit level 5. Might be my first level 5 ever. And, uh... Yeah, all of our rabbits leveled up from 3 to 4, which is good progress for them, and they're all nice and young little rabbits, so they're gonna be actually pretty effective. They, they could turn into some very serious fighters, even if they, have, they don't have the best starting stats. Alright. Hey! 15 kills and 16 turns, that's not terrible. That could have gone worse. Hopefully next time we'll actually... Uh, we probably won't, because it'll be a while, but... Soon we'll have actual ranged characters, I'm hopefully. I'm not laying the blame at anyone's feet, but the corruption in one of our regions is reaching a critical level. And once it's completely corrupted, it'll be gone forever, along with anything and anyone in it. Well, then we'll have to try to hold them off on finishing lo that location. Level 3 Female Hunter. Happy to have that. I need one of those to fill out, to fill out my party a bit. Let's see here. How you guys doing on children? You have two... You have way less. Oh right, all of your all of your children are be are becoming uh, all of the rabbit children are becoming of age now. What, becoming of age and a birth. It's Catherine Rabbit. Let's see here. Yeah, things could have gone worse, and we're still getting Caberjack armor, which would have definitely helped in that mission. Okay, things have gone worse in the past. Hopefully that hopefully this place will start birthing hunters for us. Thanks for watching, guys. Like always, I'll see you next time as we try to finish the Caberjack armor and hopefully get some new ranged characters trained because we have we have two uh, hunter training locations.
Let's see, how old are your two ch hunter children? Oh, 13 and 11. We're gonna have hunters in the next party then for sure.